Double negatives. Balancing linguistic diversity and formal English. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today we're diving into a fascinating area of English grammar. We're going to explore double negatives, their usage in informal language and dialects, and how to appreciate this linguistic diversity while maintaining standard English in formal contexts. Let's get started. Double negatives occur when two forms of negation are used in the same sentence. In standard English, double negatives are generally considered grammatically incorrect and can lead to confusion as they can create a positive statement. For example, the sentence, I don't need no help, technically means, I do need help. However, in many informal language contexts and dialects, like African American vernacular English, Ave, or Cockney English, double negatives are perfectly acceptable and carry a negative meaning. They're used for emphasis rather than creating a positive statement. In these contexts, I don't need no help is understood as, I really do not need help. It's important to remember that these are valid forms of English, rich in history and cultural significance. English, like any other language, is not static. It evolves and varies greatly across different regions, communities, and cultural groups. This variation is what we call linguistic diversity. We should appreciate this diversity as it reflects the richness of human culture and communication. However, recognizing this diversity doesn't mean disregarding the rules of standard English, especially in formal contexts. When writing or speaking in formal settings, like in an academic paper, a professional presentation, or a job interview, it's important to adhere to standard English grammar. This includes avoiding double negatives, as they're typically seen as non-standard in these contexts. Stick to the rule, I don't need any help, instead of, I don't need no help. That wraps up our discussion on double negatives, informal language, and dialects. Remember, while it's crucial to adhere to standard English in formal contexts, it's equally important to appreciate and respect linguistic diversity. Stay curious, keep learning, and we'll catch up in our next English grammar adventure. Happy learning!